Network. Hello and welcome to Go Island. It's my birthday today. And I thought, what do I want to do on my 46th birthday? I want to discover the hottest, coolest, best trends for <laughs> fall 2013. And of course, if I'm going to discover that, I have to go to my fashion expert, Jody, right here at Le Chateau at Mayfair, because you always rock the trends. Oh, I'm so excited because right now I'm all I'm all kind of spring and summer, mm -hmm. but by the end of this, I am going to be fall and winter. Fall makeover. I know, and you can feel that cool, crisp air. I'm ready for the sweaters and the scarves. Jody, what's hot? What's trendy? Well, this year. Designers have kind of gone back to basics with prints. So this, the past few seasons, we've seen a lot of digitalized prints, mm. geographic prints, and picture prints. This year, they've gone back to basics, showcasing a lot of plaid, um, pinstripes, bold stripes, and a lot of color blocking. So we're gonna see a lot of that today. And we're gonna see a lot of leather detailing. Leather is one of the biggest trends this year, and it's on everything. You're gonna I find it on it. everything, so. Yeah. Let's bring out our models. Dun, 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 dun. Look at these beautiful women. Oh my gosh, I love it. So come over here. I can't wait to hear about this because I want to buy both these outfits. Jody, tell, tell me about what they're wearing. Well, so with the trends we're focusing on at the moment with this outfit is the bold stripes. So tan and black, bold stripes. So. Uh, Lamb showed this a lot in their runway. Okay. And Victoria Beckham was another designer who showcased a lot of striping. And burgundy trend. So we have burgundy in the scarf here, and we have burgundy with the bag that Tiffany is carrying. And we've kept the outfits really neutral and added that fall trend in an accessory because okay. that's easier to incorporate into your wardrobe when you're just building on the basics for okay. the start of the season. So we kept it very neutral. Um, another trend that we're hitting here is the great like leather bags. Yes. And then we have leather piping on this chunky sweater oh, that Tiffany is wearing. That. Isn't that That's great? Gorgeous. So as I was talking about the leather before, you're going to see it everywhere. It's not everyone has that great little pair of leather pumps, boots, jacket, but you're going to see it on sweaters. You're going to see it on dresses, and we're going to see a lot of that today. And another trend is uh, turtlenecks as your basic. Turtlenecks have Love the turtleneck. turtlenecks have come back in a big way, and it can hide your hickeys. <laughs> Because you know that's a problem I have, you know, so this is exciting. <laughs> Turtlenecks are great if you take a lighter weight knit and you layer it underneath a chunky knit like this. Because if you layer strategically, you can remove the layers throughout the day and you still look put together because we've polished it with this really great necklace. And then Dana here is wearing just a nice lightweight double knit black trench. So easy to remove. I'll, love, love, I'll get her yes. to remove the jacket because this, this dress is amazing. Okay. So ladies, we can do stripes. Don't be scared to do stripes. You want to look at the positioning of the stripes. So see how it's a little bit more bold and black in the middle. Yes. That just like brings her in at the waist. The stripes are going all different directions. Very, very flattering. So you can do stripes just depending on how they're positioned. That's what you want to look at. Don't okay. be scared to do stripes. You're going to see a lot of it this year. You're not even sad to say goodbye to summer when you see this. Uh, we're going to continue to show you more trends, more looks, but I know for this birthday, I am buying some fall fashion. We're here at Le Chateau with Jody, our fashion expert. Um, now, girls, come out. What's this uh, this next look all about, Jody? Well, another big trend this year that we talked about earlier is menswear inspired fabrics. So a lot of tweed, but plaid. So here, I want to showcase the plaid. Okay. Um, we have Dana here in this amazing plaid skinny pant. Look at those little booties. So, so sweet. So we've made them feminine. We've made this like plaid kind of more masculine print a way more feminine with these shoes. And then she's out for a walk. So we threw a little poncho on her, which is a really great transitional like fall jacket. Yes. Because it's not quite cold enough to do your like heavy wool mm -hmm. coat. So get one of these and just throw it on over every outfit. It looks so I cute. I like that so much that I'd want it to be cold enough so exactly. I could wear it. It's like, okay, it's cold enough. I'm putting it on. I'm taking my dog for a walk. You know, it always looks so chic. And the key is to just, if you're doing a piece like this, you want to layer it over a nice tailored pant and a really chic boot or heel. And then of course, I'm not matchy matchy, but I love these little gloves like so much. And I love that they match the the pant and then we have this great red bag to kind of like pull it all together. Yes. Yeah. Now let's talk about the white sleeves. 
the white sleeves. So a lot of people feel like they can't wear white after Labor Day. This is one of our office looks underneath actually, so I'll get Dana to remove that in a minute. But white, as you can see with Tiffany's outfit, we're showcasing a white chunky knit. So Marc Jacobs showed a lot of like head to toe white this year, so you can wear white after Labor Day. Chunky knit white sweaters are so beautiful and they're so fresh and clean. And if you wear them with a nice tailored pant, which we're doing this great like black skinny pant with leather detail again mm -hmm. because leather is so big. And if you look at the infinity scarf we put on her, this also has great leather detail. I just noticed that. Yeah, isn't oh my that awesome? Lord, I, I mean, love that. Infinity scarves are great for layering with a jacket, but they're great on their own because you don't, it, it already makes the outfit look put together. It doesn't need much else. And then of course, adding the plaid, trend with this great little bag. I love that Isn't bag. That sweet? That's so sweet. Wow. Takes the sweater off and she's like ready to be at the office. So obviously with this like plaid we did a nice little lightweight black uh, half sleeve sweater and then layered the classic button down collared shirt which most women every year this time of year are looking forward to add to their their fall wardrobe. They need it for work. It's a piece that you'll have year round, so you're always that fine. That belt is awesome. I'm, you know, you want to show off the waist, like work looks don't have to be frumpy, they don't have to be boring. This is really great and it just gives it more shape and a little bit more interest in a fashion forward way. Love it. Well, summer is almost over and fall is here. And of course, the best part about fall is fashion. We have two looks here. Uh, Jody from Le Chateau, our fashion expert. Come on out, Tiffany. And Dana, you girls, you just look hot and everything. <laughs> so um, this trend we are showcasing here, well, ladies will be happy this year, especially ladies who hate revealing their arms, that lawn sleeve sheath dresses are really, really big and you can find them anywhere right now. Yeah. So we are showing two of our lawn sleeve dresses. We have, a, we have a sweater on over Tiffany's just to show that you can still layer over a lawn sleeve. It's okay nice. to do that and like a great studded clutch. Love it. But the star of the show. The shoes! Yes, that's these beautiful <laughs> plaid, girly platform almond toe pumps. Love them and you gotta incorporate another print. When you're doing all neutrals like this, it's yes. really fun just to add a pop somewhere. I always do with all of my customers. Again, the neutral base, so you can add anything to this outfit. You're gonna have it for a very long time. You just switch up the accessories to keep it different. And then on Dana here, we long sleeve dress trend. The leather trend, look at the leather detail at the waist here. Isn't this gorgeous? Amazing. Yes. And then a big color trend this year on runways, Philip Lim showed a lot of emerald green this year. So this dress is this beautiful shade of emerald green, which I'm obsessed with. I really, I love really green. am obsessed with green this year. But it's not just emerald green, there's all shades of green. Anything, anyone can wear a shade of green this year and it will it'll suit them. There's shades for everybody. And then we've paired this dress that's a little more conservative, still with a bit of edge, but with these insanely edgy shoes. Love it. <laughs> I love these shoes. They're uh, great shoes. They're they're like a little ankle boot, but just a bit daintier and just wait. They're just so awesome. And they're if we no turn worse. around and look at the back, look at the detail. It's just yeah. gorgeous with the, the Isn't that great? Yes, I love it. Love and love. And it fits her so well. And look at like the how it's color blocked and it's very flattering. It is. So you can do a fitted dress. Just look at the details and where they're placed. Um, and then another thing run or designers were showing on runways everywhere this year was leopard print. So I like to show leopard print in accessory form because some women feel, well, you either love it or you hate it. Yeah. And if you want to get that trend, but you're too scared to wear a full on leopard get up, just incorporate it again with the trend. So we did this you, with this bag. When, you, when you're in your 46th yeah. year, <laughs> you can only pull off so much leopard before you look like a cougar. And we are celebrating me, because it's my birthday today, but we're also celebrating fall fashion here at Le Chateau with Jody. Jody, tell me about this very funky coat. Well, this blazer is inspired by the Gucci collection, so this is kind of our version of it. The reason why I pulled it as an instant way to update your wardrobe is because it's so, it's so rich in the texture and the color. So this will really warm up all your darker colors, and you can mix this with some of the black suiting you may already have at home. So and we this, love the belt. And I love this with just a nice pair of skinny jeans, an over-the-knee boot, and a cute little tank top underneath. It's it's a great way to instantly update everything. Now, I really love this color. You're 
still seeing yellow. So we saw a lot of yellow in the summer. Well, they've kind of carried it through to fall with this kind of more of a mustard shade of yellow. This is a great color and a lot, you're seeing it in a lot of stores, but it's a hard color to wear. So I incorporate this color in my wardrobe with a bag like this because you get that splash of color. Absolutely. It's instant update. Welcome back to Go Island. We are talking fall, fashion, accessories, must-haves in your wardrobe, and everybody needs a new boot. This is not a hat, it's a boot. I tell us about this trend. Well, over, knee, over the knee boots are always great every year, but again, it's probably one of the bigger looks that we're showing with boots. So over the knee, um, you're gonna start seeing thigh-high boots coming out into stores. They were all over the runways, so if you're a little you know, don't want to rock the thigh high, just do an over the knee boot like this. This one's nice because it's angled, so you get the length in the leg, still doesn't cut you off and it fits nice to the leg. And another big trend they're showing, again, green. Um, another instant way to update your wardrobe is just keep or just invest in a bright colored bottom and wear, mix and match it with your seating. So Philip Lynn inspired pant here. Oh my gosh, I love this color so much! Oh, it's amazing and you're seeing it everywhere and this will carry through to spring. That's the nice thing about all these bright jewel tones that are in. You can wear all these colors into spring. It's just the styling that makes it work seasonally. I happen to be in one of the hottest trends for fall fashion right now. Oh yeah, Jody, tell us what you've dressed me in. Well, I had to, of course, show you. <laughs> I had to put you in this beautiful berry colored dress because berry is a very, very big color this year, along with burgundy and red. And then, of course, the menswear fabric inspired fabric we were talking about is yes. the tweed, this beautiful stretched tweed jacket with the leather detail that we spoke of earlier. And then this awesome studded clutch just to give your outfit a bit of edge for tonight for your birthday. Absolutely. Of course. And yeah. then we had to pair this with a great heel, but I wanted you to be comfortable tonight. So I put you in our Moda Reflex heels, which are a great height and you're not gonna... I could dance all you night You could long. dance all night in these I shoes. There's dance. extra cushion and they're suede. What is your very favorite fall trend for 2013? I would have to say the plaid. Like every designer was showing it on their runway and I love Chanel and Versace and everyone who showed it. I, got, I love plaid. It's awesome and it's so much fun. It definitely makes you think of fall. And, school and all that fun stuff. So. It does. Well, yeah. thank you so much for thank sharing you. all your Thanks wisdom and knowledge with us. And thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts, ideas, any wardrobe tips for me or any of the on-air talent that we have here on Go <laughs> Island, you know where to find us. Facebook, Twitter, email us, go on our website. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.